Hello and welcome, Paul the here, and I'm playing Star Wars Conquest, and this is the Path of Darkness. And in the Path of Darkness, I take on the role of Dark Lord Malgus, currently rebuilding the Sith Empire. And let's have a quick look here. I just upgraded my ship, and it's running at so so speed. I need to test it a bit more, see how it compares to other ships, if I can catch them or not. If not, then I'm going to upgrade. Up, I'm going to upgrade, or I'm going to increase the ship speed in the uh, cheap menu. And I know that sounds kind of cheap, but uh, I mean, like I've said in the previous video, I can take over the galaxy anytime I want at this point because the Sith are just so ridiculously strong. But uh, you know, I'm trying to do this as legit as possible. But uh, having a faster ship just to get around the map because there's no quick travel like in uh, or where you can speed up time while moving. You can do it while you're stationary, but not while moving. So that means traveling across the galaxy is very slow. But anyway, bandits are attacking my droid factory, which is not good. So let's quickly deal with these. Don't bother with prisoners. Slay them all. There is no mercy for attacking my home worlds. Feed him to the rancors. Keep him for torturing. Find out where the rest of this scum lives, and I'll send a small incinerator squ squad over there to burn them out. Just what I needed more battle droids. Droids are needing upgrades, which is always good. And Luna needs leveling up. I need to max out her intelligence first, I reckon. Might as well get the maximum amount of, uh, you know, wound treatment, first aid, and all that stuff. Is there anything else that I should be increasing though? I mean, I could max out engineering as well, but that doesn't really make much difference at this point. Cargo management, that's a leader skill, so I believe I need that. Uh, just increase her athletics, I suppose. So she moves quicker on the battlefield. Then we've got Kyra. She's just a, a war machine, basically, at this point. She's pretty incredible. And we've got Ram Kota. Once a Jedi. Has now been... Turned to the dark side. He now fights for the Sith Empire. Bloody good fighter as well. There's a few more I can mess with, but for the moment I'll leave them be. So, what am I doing? I've got a little bit of money. I need to, well, I say need to, I want to find, I want to upgrade what I'm wearing, basically. I still need to sort out my companions, but I want to see if I can upgrade my gear a little bit. Get some heavier armor. Now, I'm looking for basically this Mandalorian soldier armor because it's probably about the darkest thing, which is actually armor that's out there. But if possible, I want to try and get it with that sort of skirt behind, although I don't know how good that will look. That's why I'm trying to find some to see. Then I could give like a Sith mask as well, uh, a Sith cloak with a hood, and we'll end up having that look. But I don't really like having the, uh, the mask over my... I like my hair, basically. I really like the hair on this character. 
So keeping that is a must. Anyway. Probably recruit a few more Imperials, that would be handy. I could actually go and get my ship fully upgraded while travelling around, that might be useful. Cargo capacity could be increased, and prisoner capacity. Prisoner capacity is a must. Troop capacity would be useful. There we go, go ahead and upgrade medical bay, get that done and out of the way. Cargo capacity as well, just so we can carry more stuff. Now I do need to make some credits, so we will have to go after people. In that case, I'm going to have to head back into enemy territory. Basically, the first ship I chase after, and this isn't fast enough, I'm just going to go ahead and upgrade the ship speed. One should be enough just to get me back to where I was. I wanted to go after the neighbours here, but the huts are continuing to uh, be a thorn in my side, so... Wow, yeah, that's the ship I want. Look how big that is. <laughs> so let's make our way over to Gamor, and then we can see if we can capture Dengar. Sell him back to her, make a bit of money. That's how we're doing this. Oh, I just love the look of my ship there. It's so nice. Quick look here. What on earth's going on? Hot marksman could have captured them, but forget it. We'll leave it to the Imperials right now. I need to make sure my battle station doesn't get taken. But there's Dengar. Damn, his ship is faster. Okay, so... Yeah, that's store, That's going to be like that for every single ship, and I'll never catch him. So what we're going to do... Hang on, I'm missing the ship speed here. Change player ship speed. So it's now two times faster, okay. It still appears to be going the same speed. We're not actually capture, uh, ca uh, catching up. I'm not entirely sure how this is meant to work. Let's max it out a second. Still the same speed. Okay, let me try one thing. Nope, that did nothing. So... Actually, before I change it back, let me try one more thing. It could be uh, a case of going to a planet and then coming back off it, so it sort of resets the speed of a ship. Although I don't know if that really makes any difference. I just hate to be stuck with a slow ship for the sake of... Yeah, that did nothing. Okay, so... Reset that to default. I'm gonna mess with that again. Very disappointed. But uh, let's have a look. 
So what is it? It's uh, navigation, which is an intelligence skill and it increases the ship map speed by 3%. What is navigation at? Dav Foss is up to 6 with navigation. Now I could probably max it out with Lunar. That may be an option. But this is bad, because my ship's never going to be fast enough to capture anyone. Very bad. My droids are already maxed out. In that case, then I'm just gonna have to do what this ship set out to do: ferry troops to destinations such as planets, so we can siege them. Otherwise, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I can't catch anyone, so. I'm kind of stuck. The only other thing is to downgrade to a slower ship. But I don't particularly want to do that. But I am getting tired of these huts. I wanted to keep them around, but I think it may be in my best interest to just wipe them out once and for all. Be done with them. Uh, party's out of food to eat. Let's go to Camino. I'm sure they can pro make some processed food for my uh, cargo hold. I can afford one. Wow, I'm so broke. She won't me sell the Sith sword. At this point, everyone's been upgraded anyway to uh, lightsabers, so pretty well. I can capture that freighter. Yeah, we are so slow now. Uh, take them alive, they are worth money, as I've said. Okay. That shouldn't give me some prisoners to sell. The only problem is is that my health is so low, hopefully it's not too low to where I cannot take prisoners. Nope, that was okay. Good, good, good. Oh, perfect. All this will sell very nicely. Genosis and sell what we've got. Um, work out where I want to go next. I do need to do something about this ship, though. <laughs> I will receive exactly the amount of credits they have. 
Nicely done. Nicely done. so okay so I guess I'm gonna hover around Tatooine and do a bit of damage well you gotta figure Tatooine would have like some sort of slave trader there yeah I think I'll try and get down on the uh, surface dangerous job but I can do it I think of being a Sith, I should be able to sneak upon this, sneak onto this planet a lot easier. You know, without being detected, you know, just mind trick everyone as I go. By all hell, just force choke him. What does it matter? Oh well. It's a bit more personal taking these guys out with a knife. And a lot more painful. There we go. Just who we wanted to speak to. Alright, let's give me some money back. Now again, I could continue with my ship upgrades. Although, if I see any armor that I want to use, I will try and get it. There's some of the boots I wanted, but I'm going to hold off at the moment. Maybe we take a little trip to Christophers. I think very soon I'm just going to start wipe out the huts and then focus on the rebels until the uh, Empire take notice. Oh wow. Well. That's basically took 50% of my money. Uh, no credits on me now. Aye, aye, aye. It's an expensive game. Very expensive game. At least I've got money left over in my bank. Alright, so let's have a look at this. We own all of this. Now I could go ahead and take out the huts and then that would leave me with all of that territory. All of this side. Then I could start focusing on the uh, rebels. Although taking Yavin would be nice just because it's so close to uh, Raxus Prime. Taking it would secure Raxus Prime. But I suppose I could just come over here and take some outposts. Whether or not we keep them is irrelevant at this point. It's just a case of doing damage. Why don't we take Tatooine outpost first? See how the enemy reacts. Oh, there's a lot of them. Probably should be worried, but really. whenever I can. Good 
Good job, good job. I'll take the stormtroopers. Now, first thing I want to do is give this battle station to one of my generals because there's no need for me to keep it. I just want the planets. Okay, anyway, that was a good fight. And that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Make sure you join me again. Goodbye.